Saturday was one of these days that are not really cold, but not really hot, just basic average regular spring day. We heard that there was a massive sale at the local American Apparel, so we went there to check. It makes me sad that the brand is dying, because I've been wearing their stuff a lot for the past few years, I, I love what they do, but hey, it's life. There was a selection of shirts that would have made Anthony Fantano drool his brains out. Then we went to the cheese store, I'm sad that I couldn't get any footage inside of this cheese store, but there was just too many people. This thing that I'm unboxing right now under your very eyes is amazing, it's a piece of truffle infused gouda with bits of truffles in it. It was really expensive, as you can guess, that's why we only bought a really small piece. This other cheese that I'm unboxing right now is a goat cheese, one of my favorite cheeses in the world. I'm gonna put the name on the screen so the pronunciation doesn't confuse you too much. And yeah, it's uh, Ashen goat cheese, which is basically my favorite type of cheese. I'm really, really into goats, uh, as much as uh, food is concerned. And uh, not just food. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Just got to let you enjoy the images. Look, look, look at that. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. Wow. Isn't that nice? What I'm doing right now is a very scientific taste test to um, see if it was uh, as good as it seemed. So, uh, let's let's do do the test because it looks good, sure. But is it is it really really good? Like, is it really is it like uh real? But yeah, but like. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is it good? Okay. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's good. But is it really, really good? Is it really, really good? Let's just be really sure. This is science. Is it really, really good? Yeah, it is. I bought a little wooden bridge thing for the boys. They really love this kind of stuff. At first, they started playing with it, and then they started using it as a chew toy. And uh, in less than one hour, it was completely destroyed. These kind of things usually last for um, at least one week, but I guess they were in a destroying mood that day. It was funny to watch anyway. And it was really cheap, so not a big deal. Look at them go. Bunch of little assholes. Except this guy. This guy's the coolest one. Don't say that to the others. Sunday, I made myself a goat cheese salad for breakfast because I was in a really goat mood that week. Can't be just me, it happens to you too, right? After that, the weather was a bit better than yesterday, so uh, we went to the park to get some sort of picnic. There was a guy playing flute, it was pretty cool. After that, we strolled into the park to go and try to find a suitable bench to eat our uh, brunch, I guess. I guess this is the most suitable word. In a few 
seconds you will see me reunited with one of the biggest loves of my life. Ban Mi. It's a Vietnamese sandwich made of one fresh bread roll, preserved carrots, fresh cilantro, pork confit, spicy mayonnaise, hot sauce, and a bunch of other stuff that are really delicious and I, I cannot even pronounce them. After that we got out of the park and there was a band just outside that was playing jazz on the pavement. It was really nice. <laughs> One of the reasons I like this park so much is that at the top there is a really nice view when you can see about half of the whole city. I was on a first date with a girl there once and the date went really bad and horribly wrong but it sure as hell wasn't because of the view. And that's about it for Sunday. Monday starts with the boys sleeping in a weird circle formation. An interesting oddity in rat life. Then I went to the dentist. He has a really vaporwave weighing room. I like it a lot, don't you? After that, I went back home walking and in the middle of my trip I figured it was the right time to grab some lunch. And I passed right by the perfect quick lunch place. Still has the Easter decorations in mid-May. The lazy bastards. So, I went in. And I started ordering some food. I already had something in mind. Chicken nuggets. Yeah, I was gonna grab it. Maybe six, maybe nine. Nah. Nah. Better had grabbed the 20 nuggets box. It says on the box that it's to share, but that's a lie. 20 chicken nuggets fits one person. Uh, admire here the low-key Rick and Morty reference with the Chinese sauce. After that, coming back home, having some lunch, time to spend some time with the boys. I mean, with all the rats and my Dakimakura, as you can see in the background. Rats were pretty fast this morning. I like it when they run fast. It's funny to watch. Someone's gonna steal a biscuit. Look closely. And done. Too fast for you.
you had a good time with these two little bastards. So, of course, we figured the right thing to do was to bring some more into play. Because the more merrier, right? Um, yeah, it went pretty good. We had a nice family time. Do you see the resemblance? Amusement and enjoyment were obtained. That's what I can tell you. After that, we went outside to meet with my BFF, who was gonna invite us to a stand-up comedy show and I'm gonna end my vlog right here on a cliffhanger because I'm one of these avant-garde video makers who wants to push back every limit of creation that's how I am see you on the next one and thanks for watching peace